Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the third group of fungal classification which is known as the Basidiomycetes. So before this, we have talked about the Phycomycetes. Secondly, we have talked about the Ascomycetes. Now we are going to talk about the Basidiomycetes. So these group of fungi, uh, fungal classification, they have been given a name which is known as the club fungi. So why club fungi? We will be discussing uh, this in a uh, later on in this video. Now these are considered as one of the most advanced and most commonly seen type of fungi among all the groups. These are the most advanced and most commonly seen group of the fungi. They have got about 25,000 species included in this group. So we can understand this is also a very wide uh, diverse group of organisms which are included in this group of Basidiomycetes. The motile structures or cells are generally absent. So they do not have any type of motile or uh, structures uh, or cells which are motile or which can move. So they can reproduce asexually by basidium. So what do we mean by basidium? Basidium what happens sometimes the hyphae, the tip of hyphae of the some cells, they become enlarged they become club shaped because of which we have given the name club fungi. So become enlarged, they become club shaped and they form this basidium. So these are known as basidium and from each basidium it produces four basidiospores. So I hope you understood what is basidium. These are enlarged cells which are formed at the tip of the hyphae. These possess two types of mycelia. So they can have two types of mycelia. The first type they are known as the primary mycelium. So what are these? Primary mycelium, these are formed when the haploid spores germinate. So these type of mycelium will have the haploid nuclei. Now the second type is the secondary mycelium. So what is secondary mycelium? Sometimes what happens, plasmogamy that is the fusion of protoplasm or the cytoplasm is followed by the karyogamy that is fusion of nucleus. Now sometimes it happens that in some cells of the fungi, Plasmogamy happens, but the karyogamy is delayed. Now, this intermediate phase is known as the dikaryophase. In this dikaryophase, sometimes what happens? It gives or it arises to form a new type of mycelium and this is known as the secondary mycelium. So, I hope you have understood what is primary mycelium and how it is different from the secondary mycelium. Now, let us talk about some of the importance of this group of basidiomycetes. They are the one of the most common decomposers of wood. So normal wood is decomposed by these type of fungi. They can decompose cellulose as well as lignin. So these materials can be decomposed by these type of cells or this type of fungi. Now some of them are known to produce hallucinogenic chemicals. So these chemicals are also produced. It is also interestingly believed that some of the uh, cells of basidiomycetes, some of the groups of species of basidiomycetes have the potential to form or to produce anti-cancer drugs. So research is going on. So we uh, expect to extract some of the anti-cancer drugs from these type of uh, basidiomycetes. Now they also can cause some of the destructive disease of our crops. Most of the crops can be destroyed by these type of basidiomycetes. So in this video, we have talked about the third group of fung fungal classification, which is the Basidiomycetes. We have also talked about some of its importances, which are involved in daily life. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.